This video will be an introduction uh, guide to installation and basic flight planning uh, for Q Ground Control. It's a commonly used ground control software for flying autonomous drone missions. Um, installation, we'll post the link in the description. Uh, it's supported on Windows, Mac OS, Linux. Uh, you can install it on iOS, but it's not recommended. Uh, it's very susceptible to glitches, and you can have some issues with connections to your drone. Uh, telemetry radios in particular can be quite finicky. Um, so it's best, if you have available, to go with one of the other installation options. Uh, as far as the actual installation, you can see the guide on the screen. Simply follow through the instructions and install it. Once that's done, you can open it up and you'll be greeted with this screen here. Um, right now we're inside, so you can see there's no GPS lock and it's missing some calibrations and pre-arm checks. We'll get to that in a minute, but for now I just want to walk you through a basic flight plan setup. So if you select the flight plan in the left corner here, it'll open up this menu, which is where you actually plan your flight. Uh, you can see you're on kind of a Google Earth style screen here. Um, so you can zoom in wherever you're wanting to fly. Uh, so you can get this set up before actually going out to the field. Uh, so the first thing you'll do is you'll click on File and select your plan. Uh, you'll have four options here. Uh, we'll be going through just the blank basic setup today. Uh, but if you're doing photogrammetry or any sort of mapping, uh, you might want one of the others uh, to actually fly a grid. Um, so we'll select blank, uh, it'll create a new flight plan, and then we'll select takeoff. Uh, now when you click on the map, it'll set your takeoff point, go right here next to the road. And you can see over here in mission, it'll create a box for each point you make on the map. Uh, it has altitude here, it's the altitude your drone will rise to when you start the mission. I'll leave it at 120, you just want to make sure that's high enough to avoid any obstacles, you know, trees, structures, etc. From there, uh, we can go ahead and add waypoints that the drone will fly to. So select waypoint on the left, and then select each point on the map you want to fly. We'll say go here, and then we'll fly in a rectangle around this building. Uh, once you've got that there, you can see each of these waypoints appear on the mission planner on the side. Uh, you can adjust the altitude of the drone at each one. You can tell it to hold its position, you can change its flight speed, and there is a camera setting. If you have a sensor attached to your drone, you can set that up to take pictures, video, um, or adjust gimbal settings. Once you're done setting all your points, you go back over to the left side and hit return. That'll bring the drone back to the launch point and land. Uh, you can also have it hold its final position, take control with an RC remote, uh, you can also have it land there, or a couple other options, but we'll just have it come back to launch and land. Once you're done with the mission, you can see this Upload Required button blinking in the top. You can select that, and it'll go ahead and upload it to the drone. It'll tell you done if it goes through correctly. If not, it'll tell you what the issue is with your flight plan and what you still need to finish. Once all this is done, you select the QGC icon in the top left corner to go back to the main screen. And we're going to go ahead and go to Vehicle Setup. This is what you'll need to do prior to actually flying the drone. Each of these boxes uh, gives you an overview of a section on the left. Uh, if they're all green, then you're good to fly. Anything in red needs to be addressed. Uh, when you connect a radio, it'll need to be calibrated. Um, right now we don't have one connected, so that's why you can see it's in red. And you also need to go through sensor calibration prior to flying. Uh, we'll go through that on the field. Uh, but this is all we need. We have the flight plan uploaded, so we'll go, on, go ahead and go out to field, show you sensor calibration, and fly this mission. Alright, so we're out in the field now. We'll go through the calibrations we discussed and actually fly the mission we planned out. There are three calibrations we'll go through, the compass, gyro, and accelerometer setup. The compass is highly recommended before every flight. The other two can be completed as necessary or if it's flagged in Q ground control in that main display screen we saw before. Uh, to do the calibration, you'll pull up Q ground control and go to vehicle setup and sensors, uh, where we were at previously in the video. And then you'll select compass, confirm there's no orientation, and then you'll see a screen with the drone shown in six orientations. You'll need to hold the drone in each of those orientations and then rotate it counterclockwise. It'll show you the one you're currently working on in yellow. When it beeps, it's moved on to the next one and you'll need to assume a different orientation. Flip the drone, hold it until a square turns yellow, and then rotate.
All right, so all six are done. You'll hear a final beep, and then it will tell you it's finished, and you need to reboot the vehicle prior to the next flight. Moving along to the gyroscope calibration, simply select that screen in the sensors tab, hit OK, Motion. Retrying. and place your vehicle, and it'll calibrate all on its own. Once that one's completed, we can go and go to accelerometer. Once again, no rotation. And for this one, you'll need to place your vehicle into each of these. Hold. And unlike before, there's no need for rotation. It simply needs to be held steady. All right, once again, with all six completed, you're done, and you'll now need to reboot the vehicle. Uh, to reboot, uh, hit parameters, tools, and then you'll see reboot drop down in the right corner. Once the vehicle is rebooted, assuming your mission has been uploaded, you're ready to go ahead and take it out to the field and fly. All right, so with the dr drone placed out in the field, uh, mission's already uploaded, so we're gonna go ahead and launch it and take flight. Uh, so from the planning phase, back in the main menu, you're gonna hit fly, and it'll take you to the main screen. From there, you'll see the slide confirm button appear in the bottom part of the screen. And if you slide confirm, we mission are ready to fly. Mode. Here at the announcement, drone will arm, and it'll take off. So we've completed the first two marks, we're coming up on the last one, Return and then there it is. It'll complete the RTL, come back to the original position, and land. See it banking in now, coming back up on position, and then it'll descend. Yep. And down it comes. wasn't mentioned previously in the video, but you can set different descent rates if you're wanting it to come down quicker or slower than the default. There we go. The flight is com successfully completed. All right, so after flight, disconnect the battery, cut it off for safety with the props attached. But all in all, that concludes the Q-Ground Control lost. video. That's covered everything you need, set up a basic mission, fly it autonomously, uh, and have it return back to landing. Uh, in future videos, we'll go a little more in depth on what you can do with Q-Ground Control, some of the more advanced features and flight missions you can construct, but that's enough to get started. That's everything you need to know to plan a flight and take off using Q-Ground Control. Uh, if there's anything else you'd like to see in future videos, comment down below, and we'll see you in the next one.